one problem in the whole homework. And again, we are going to just apply the identities. We're not going to verify them. Your book does a fine job of showing you where they came from and how they got there. Double angle identities. This identity, I'm not going to go into detail, but came from having the sign of A plus A. And if you're to use your sign of A plus A formula and plug it in, you have sine of A, cosine of A, plus sine of A, cosine of A. In other words, two sine of A's, cosine of A's. So when the angle's the same, it makes a nice little shortened version of itself. Now here, unfortunately, is the one that confuses people to no end. Are you ready? Cosine of 2a comes out to be cosine squared a minus sine squared a. That's not 1. So cosine squared of a plus sine squared of a is 1. This is not. So don't confuse that. I think I only put that one in. Hang on, I just want to see if I don't. <coughs> On your uh, final exam, people have a tendency to give you multiple versions of this. The other versions come about by taking your cosine squared of A and replacing it with 1 minus sine squared of A. That will give you 1 minus 2 sine squareds of A. That's another version of this. I think somebody in this class remembered seeing that somewhere because they ran into it in one of their identities. And the other version comes by replacing the sine squared of A with 1 minus cosine squared of A, which gives you 2 cosine squared of A plus 1. All of those versions will be written on the test. This is really the only one that you usually need and run into in most of the homework problems. Got them all written down? Question? Then, half-angle identities. Now, half angle identities look like this. So this is the sign of an angle divided by 2 is equal to plus or minus, you have to determine which, the square root of 1 minus cosine of the angle. All of that's divided by 2, and that 2 is still under the square root symbol. Just a warning, that's one of the places most people lose, lose it because <coughs> they take the 2 out from under the square root. Your cosine of a over 2 looks very much the same. The one difference is instead of minus, it's plus.
infinity. We're going to do exactly the same problem this time, finding the exact value of pi over 12. But this time we're going to use a half angle identity. Thank you. 